What's up guys, welcome back. Uh, today, I'm putting on the rack on my truck so that I can take off for Tampa and bring my camper and then also bring my new kayak. The truck rack I'm putting on is the track rack from Home Depot. It's like uh, 350 bucks, something like that. They give military discounts. Um, that can I think it's 10% off that can save you money it's the model number it's supposed to be universal for all those and what I do I don't read instructions so disclosure but I lay everything out in pairs whatever you call it I group it all together and then I just use logic as to what goes where so hopefully my logic was right but so these ones and that one are interchangeable and this one and this one are interchangeable so your right front's the same as your left rear and then that's the crossbar and then that's the supports. These actually came separate, but I like to put them together as I go. See, like I figured out those bolts go with that. Those little ones go with that. I'm assuming these are the clamps. Those probably go with the clamps. These probably go with the clamps, and I'm assuming these. And then I'm assuming these ones screw on that, I'm thinking. Do me a favor guys and if you like this content or you got any value out of this video and you also fish or you travel and uh, you want some tips and tricks along the way, gear reviews, stuff like that, make sure to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up it really helps especially watching all the way to the end that also helps the algorithm so do me a favor if you're getting any value out of this video make sure to do one or all of those things all right let's get into this all right so the next thing i do is i'll take all the parts and i pretty much so just go see what fits what and uh process of elimination so <clears throat> Excuse me. What I figured out is these go into there. And the end, this will go on the end of that. And then I believe these are going to somehow link in here to where you can tighten it to this. And it won't allow that to back out so you don't have it rattling loose as you drive down the road. And then these are made to go in the track. So you just put them in there, tighten them down. And I do recommend, if you want to take this thing apart, don't lock tight everything. But if you don't want it to rattle loose, put a little lock tight on it. All right, so next I figured out that these little ones, those ones, are going to mount this right here they're the short ones then these longer ones like these ones medium sized or whatever they're gonna mount the uprights to the base plate well this isn't the base plate this is the rack plate and then these are the base plate and those will attach to the base plate so I'm going to get that done and then I'm going to let you know what I was right about and what I was wrong about. But this is how I do it with no instructions. And then you don't end up with any extra parts. Alright, so what I got, take those, tighten those down. I obviously got the other three on. They'll just slide in this track like that and then you can tighten them because they're made to fit in that track and you tighten it right down, boom, you're done with that. All right, so 
I figured out that those go in that track right there. And then you take this and you want to make sure that indented part goes on the bottom and the flat parts on the top because that will suck tight right here and the screw is just long enough to pull this bracket up. If you do it the other way around, it wants to push it. I want to say it pulls it up higher. I forget. It makes it not centered on here. So when you're doing this, make sure the flat part is at the top. Say hi to Ruger. All right, I'm going to throw the ball for him, and then I'm going to get this one done. I got the other four done, or three done already. These make your life so much easier because then you can just put it in the drill that's right here. Makes your job a lot easier. Next, I'm going to attach this part, which is the base, and that's going to go just like that. Boom. One done. Alright, so these medium ones. I was wrong. They go in here on that and then they also go in here. And then the short ones they mount let's see, I'll bring it over here. They mount right in that rack where that nut is and right there. Could have saved myself some time by <laughs> reading the instructions, but I don't know, it's just not how I do. Stubborn, you know us, man. That bit's a little bent, but still gets the job done. On this part, I just do it loose so that I can slide it up and down when I'm putting it on the truck and then measure it out. All right, guys, so apparently they lied to us. These things are supposed to go the other way around, upside down, but on a 2011 Toyota Tacoma, mine has these tracks and that won't work. And even if I thought about taking the tracks off, but if you do that, you're only clamping to this plastic part. So that don't make much sense. So I flip them upside down is kind of what I figured out. Just knock that in like that. Line up the hole on the clamp. Put the bolt in. Make sure to hold this so that that bolt goes into that clamp part. Well, that's inconvenient because these are going to stick up, but I don't know. I guess I'll just get some shorter ones. Go to Ace Hardware or something. It's eight bolts. You can just go bring this in, and uh, I guarantee you they're going to have what you need. Ace Hardware, guys. I think Ace Hardware is nationwide. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys watching till the end. 
throw a comment down below if this helped you out or if there's another rack out here that you like better maybe there's an easier install maybe there's a different way to rig this um, but this is what I could come up with on the spot I have to leave for Tampa tomorrow so I don't really have time to switch these out quite yet I'll do that when I get to Tampa um, make sure to subscribe guys I'm like I said I'm getting ready to shoot down the coast of Florida I'm gonna go to Tampa then I'm coming back to Pensacola area uh, and probably do some fishing in Destin and then I'm gonna take off back down south to go on the Yankee captain in the Key West and I am going to be doing some kayaking and shore fishing probably along the way definitely kayak maybe shore but uh, make sure to like and subscribe thanks for watching guys